okay, we can't really compare an automotive executive to a sales clerk or cleaning woman, but fact is women are still way too often to be found at the bottom of the wage scale. And for more, we're joined by Anke Domscheit-Berg. She is the founder of Fempower.me, a consulting firm that helps companies increase the number of women in management. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Yes. Please do explain to us why there are especially so many women in the low wage sector. Well, I'm asking that myself as well, but I think one of the major reasons is that childcare is still predominantly done by women and we do not have enough public childcare in Germany. There's a huge lack in terms of quality and quantity. So women are forced out of the job and when they get back into the job, it's either part time or very often it's in worse positions they had before, ending up in lower wages. And okay. additionally, we have still the concept of the man in the household is the breadwinner, so they get to pay more than women. Okay, so the, the infrastructure is a problem yes. and a certain perception of yes. the role of a woman. Exactly. But that does not explain the huge wage gap. We speak of almost 25% of a wage gap here in Germany. Why is that? Interesting is to look whether it's Western Germany or Eastern Germany. In Eastern Germany, where I was raised, it's only 6%. More women work full time in East Germany. More women work in management positions, which are higher paid. And also the professional segregation is lower. You see that if more women work in a certain type of profession or industry, the wage level seems to be much lower in these areas and you can even see if that changes over time and more men get into this profession, like you see with computer science, which was a woman's profession, you see wages raise. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of related to the gender, which pre predominates a certain profession, that wages get to be lower or higher. Now, I'm not going to ask you uh, how much you earned when you were with Microsoft or McKinsey, the consulting firm, um, but obviously you must have done something differently to many other women. What was your secret of success? Well, it not only depends on the woman, but of course you have to deliver performance. You have to want to achieve uh, something. And my East German socialization, of course, was very helpful because I had a child and I still wanted to make a career. So wanting this is one thing, but you also have to meet the right corporate culture. And I was not always lucky in that because a predominant corporate culture um, is based on homosocial reproduction. So men tend to hire men for management position. If you still end up as a woman, you may be just lucky, mm -hmm. but many other women with the same capabilities and the same talents don't make it. And that's what we call glass ceilings. Okay. Well, Anke Domscheit-Berg, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks.